morning everybody uh, at least it's morning here right now um, anyway I wanted to share with you guys some news in our family I'm becoming a fire wife more importantly my husband is becoming a firefighter um, he's gonna be a volunteer firefighter for our local fire department and um, this is a pretty big deal for us he's been wanting to be a firefighter for quite a long time um, several years and he um, it didn't work out for him to be a full-time firefighter when he um, was looking at that a few years ago, um, but the timing is, is worked out right um, for him to be a volunteer firefighter uh, right now. Um, in past years, I didn't really want him to do that when our kids were really little. Um, I felt like I needed him around more to help with the kids and uh, you know just be a support for me um, with that part of our lives. So now that the kids are older, um, I said, you know, go ahead, you know, I'll support you 100% if you want to go ahead and do that now. So um, he applied and went through the interview process um, and they brought him in and he's got his turnout gear and his pager. So he's been um, going out on calls lately. There isn't a whole lot that he can do yet because he hasn't completed his training but um, he's getting in there and you know, getting to know the other guys and girls and um, yeah, so it's uh, pretty exciting for him. Um, he's just started the uh, medical first responder classes, which is a con condensed version of the class. So um, <laughs> he's barely home right now. He's working 10 hour shifts at his regular daytime job and then he comes home and um, two days a week he's got a four hour class at night and then every Saturday it's eight hours. So he's getting pretty tired and there's so much information that he's got to learn and <clears throat> um, it's just, it's very busy right now. So we're picking up the loose ends around the house. Um, my boys and I have been doing a lot of splitting wood and stacking it and just, you know, other things around here, making sure that my husband's got stuff to eat, you know, as soon as he comes home because he doesn't have time to you know really wait for stuff or make stuff on his own right now so we're just trying to make sure that you know he's got what he needs and he can get to where he needs to go when it's time and and whatnot so my question to you is uh, for those of you who are firefighters or firewives or family members of firefighters uh, what advice would you give to us um, specifically you know things that we should expect or things to prepare for um, I'm not sure what else to how else to put that but um, the firefighter stuff is not a completely foreign thing to me um, my brother is a firefighter also and has been for several years um, I have another family member that's been in the firefighting scene you know for quite a quite a few years too so um, I know that he's going to be gone a lot. I know that he's going to be getting up and leaving. You know, he, he is already doing that, but, um, you know, with the calls that he's going to. But I know he's going to be getting up and leaving at unexpected times of the day and night. So that's not really a foreign thing to me. Um, I was expecting that all along. But um, if there's other things that you think that we ought to be mentally or emotionally prepared for, let us know um, any tips that you have for any of us in the family. I'm happy to hear that. Um, <clears throat> it's like I said, it's a big deal, and just would like to um, have a heads up on anything that you think would be important to know. So, if you have any advice for us, please leave a comment in the comment section below or send us an email um, at flannelacres at gmail.com. So. Um, that's our big news for right now, and um, I hope you're sharing our excitement and anticipation of what this will mean for our family. So um, that's all for now, and you guys have a good weekend, and I will catch you later.